Hello, my name is Spraggy, I'm a professional poker player and I'm here in Dublin at the Irish Poker Open. But on Fridays, I play on PokerStars and I play the biggest buy-in headed into the weekend. It's the $770 buy-in Fast Friday. In this very video, I win thousands of dollars in bounties. There's over $10,000 for the win and I put myself in a position to win it all. Roll the tape. Are we just going to be all in in the 770? I think so. I think we just jam 50 here. Feel very good about it. Ace King suit all in for $770. Biggest tournament of the day. Biggest buy-in. It's all on the line. Does Rider Rock want to give us a spin? Yep. With the Jeffries. Good start. Beautiful. You win some, you lose some. In the 770, we're going to win the Ace King versus Jacks. Pretty cool, I'd say. We get to play for a bounty in the 770. It's Ace King against Ace Jack for $180 bounty. They've hit a Jack. Is that reasonable? No, it's not. Do you love winning a $180 bounty and taking a chip lead in the 770? Ace King versus Ace Jack. Do you love to see it? After Jeffrey on the flop too, we got three starting stacks and $180 locked up. Go on the 770. Go on the 770. Oh my God, Rider Rock's all in. $360 bounty, seven blinds. King Queen's gonna be a bit of me, right? Uh, all right, well, I'm just gonna jam King Queen. $360 bounty. Aces, Rider Rock, come on. That's a good hand. That's a strong hand. We even had a chance to win more because Amadi called and... And over here, the flop went check, check, check. I've bet the turn and Amadi's had a raise. Is he just up to no good? Can we put it in here and commit his draws or what? What is Adrian Mateos doing check raising the turn? He is getting stacked by me. Three betting all in with King 10. That's what he's doing. Beautiful. Simply lovely stuff. Two of 20, $360 in KOs. We're well on our way in the 770, well on our way. In the 770, three of a kind, straight draw. I mean, I'm calling, right? Fold to the triple. Very awkward if they, if they triple off. Nice. I guess fold to the triple's good if they're slowing down with king seven. Although king seven of diamonds, they had a lot of equity. Maybe they just uh, feel like they blocked too many of my core core folds with this hand. But for now, we're sliding into a flop against packs. And we're going to lead the 10, 5, 6, 2 tone. And check. I called preflop. I had a lead on the 10, 5, 6, 2 tone. I think these 10 high boards we're going to get some leads on because we're very dense around Jack 10, Queen 10, King 10. Our range is quite narrow around these areas. I led for a thousand. Pack's called. Turn is an ace. I don't like an ace. As I said, this is, you know, I'm, I'm taking this line because I want value from when I have Jack-10, Queen-10, King-10. I'm basing my range around these hands. So when the turn is an ace, naturally that's not a good card for me, good card for my opponent. So I hit the check button and Pax had a bet. I think Pax is, you know, quite loose, quite capable of bluffing, not exclusively gonna have an ace. So I think I have to stick around with my King and my 10. The river is a club, it goes check, Pax gives up and we can beat the King-Jack. So in the 770, we now have 41,000, two of 16, 16 get paid, $360 in bounties. Four and a half thousand dollars plus bounty, so probably about $9,000 for the win here. And we're two of 16. Oh my God, look at this, $180 bounty, blind be blind. Big one in the 770. Nice, nice. A K to the O. $540 in bounties locked up, my friends. $540 in bounties locked up with two of 12. And we've got Ace King in the 530. Pretty nice hand. I think just making it six is good. We do cover for the bounty, so we kind of want to give a better price, encourage them to play with us, rather than making it like the full six and a half, six point six or something. Obviously, oh yeah, here we go, big pot again. Flip, 30,000 in the middle. This is a very big pot in the 770. It's a bad turn, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30,000 chips. We were chip leader, one of 12. Now we're six of 12 with six paid. Ay, ay, ay. ay. Obviously, if we dragged this flip 63,000, we'd be massive chip leader. We were already chip leader. Now it gets a little tighter. Now it gets a little more snug. Remember when we lost the flip in the 770? Sick, sick stuff. On Stranger Tides. I guess we just call, 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 right? Hey, River Card, you suck. Maybe the worst river in the history of rivers, maybe ever. We get counterfeit. We lose to King Queen now. We lose to Aces again now. Kings again now. Any 10 that they might barrel? They might not barrel that many 10s, but some maybe. I mean, backdoor clubs that barrel? F you know. We do block boats. I wonder if we consider turning our hand into a bluff. Maybe our hand is still strong enough to call, although we lose to a lot of hands. Very easy to have a lot of value here. And they're still going to bet call all their flushes. We don't block any of those. We just block like a couple combos of Queens and Sevens. Whatever. 
Is everybody in here subscribed to my YouTube channel? The videos that we produce from the live events and all the editing and everything of the live streams, it's very expensive to do, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not moaning. I'm just saying the more subscribers we have, the more videos we are able to bring you. So if you've been watching the content, enjoying the content, and you haven't hit the sub button for whatever reason, you're lazy, you forgot, you don't want to log in, you're on your phone, you haven't done it. If you could just take 10 seconds and hit sub, that would be fucking great. I'm trying to see three in the Fast Friday. A lead, eh? Very good turn for me, very good board for me. With this hand, in general, it's really not, right? They have more deuces than me, they have more eights than me. I have a lot of like flush draws, some floats, some backdoor flush draws, some pairs. I really hope that they try and leverage the fact that they have more deuces and more eights to try and bluff me. So we're gonna call turn and call all in at the river if they decide to go all in at the river. Ace of spades, interesting card, eh? Man, if they have ace eight, I'll cry. You'll see a grown man cry. I guess I shove, because I think they still play a deuce like this. And it's not beyond the realms of possibility that a deuce uh, does not fold. We're just chopping. We're just chopping. And we've made a straight in a three bat pot in the 770. We peel pretty against a West Coast three bat. Not folding turn. Not folding river. Big pop to win in the 770 puts us four of 12. And it's ace queen versus fives. Fives are gonna hold, we're down to 10 players. I'm in the unfortunate position, I guess, of everybody at my table covers me, which means that they can apply a lot of pressure to me on the bubble, which means that I'm very tied with what I can really do here, right? The other two short stacks are on the other table, so we're in a kind of a rough table draw. But this is the bubble of the 770. We got a big, we got a big bubble. Seven hundred and twelve dollars. Obviously, we got five forty back in bounties, but seven hundred and twelve dollars, big bubble. I'm not changing it to final table yet. It is the last table. We are five of seven with six paid in the 770 Fast Friday. I can't call it a final table since we're not yet in the money. The shortest stacks: twelve thousand over here, twenty-one thousand over here. Top grind to my left with hundred k. Good player as well to my left with hundred k. You really hate to see it, but in this stream, we limp jam or limp call. Problem with limp calling, like we just get our equity denied out of position so often. Like boards like this, if he if he just ISOs jack four, it's so hard for us to continue out of position on the bubble, check calling, you know. We're just gonna win. Fortunately for us, he he had King Five offsuit, made a five and showed it down, right? So that works well for us when he makes some showdown. Doesn't need to bluff. But I think this might be a mistake to just limp call here. Despite being one away. I'm not sure, it might be fine. Just thinking of that. We got an all in! We need a king or a fall to win, we're in the money. That's a four on the river, folks. That's your bubble bursting. A four on the river will get the job done. We are now in the money. Which means it is now your final table. Paddy gives a sub to Jerry Dell. Thank you very much, Pat, again. And five or six, we're opening ace king, final table. Here we go. Obviously, if there's a three bet, we're just gonna four bet send it. If there's an all in, we're gonna call. Okay, very big part. Eighty thousand chip flip on the FT. Come on, baby! I thought it was going to be over before it started. A king on the river. It moves us to three or six. Big one to win. I was just thinking I'm going to get that title change. I'm not even going to need to bother. But here we go. Seven hundred seventy dollar final table. Nine thousand dollars for first. Win your all ends. Who was it said coming in earlier? Win your all ends. We've done it. Now let's get some pets up. And a reminder that the pets you see on your screen or about to see on your screen are exclusive of Bounty Says so to say we're going to see what we're going to win. Whatever you see in the pay table. Plus, however much we get, in, we get for knocking folks out along the way. That is the number that currently stands at five hundred and forty dollars. Final table time. Blind v blind. Twenty nine bigs. Three BB ISO. If they limp shove, obviously we call six hundred and seventy five dollar bounty. <gasps> oh my god, what a huge pot! Big flip again. Blind v blind. Anything? Anything at the top of the deck? And boom goes the dynamite. We are now second of five, $1,215 in bounties locked up. We ladder up to 1,025 here as well. Folks, we've won $2,250 from our 770 buy-in so far. And I don't think anything's gonna outperform one blind. I think that was the same guy. We won two flips against the same guy. How you got a feel for him? Here we are on an FT, just bet calling nine high. And we turned an eight. Just fold like a baby. 
can just fold here, even though $108 is not worth enough, I don't think. Bit awkward here. Sixes will take it. And then there were four. Ooh, wow. Top grind with an all in on the 6644 four queen. And they have a six here, ace six suited? Well, I had the ace of clubs, so they can't have ace six of clubs. Maybe they have king six suited. My ace is actually very important for this part. Six seconds, here we go. Maybe they have a four. Fault. Why? Right. We will raise call king queen suited, $765 bounty. We will be delighted with life on the flop. I think bang our range this side is good. Obviously, we're happy to run our equity against their jam. $765 and a ladder to third with a pair and a flush draw. Just to fold, though. There is an all-in on the FT. $765 bounty. They have to call off 11 bigs. Okay. Pretty interesting hand here just before the break. You know what we want to see? $765 bounty. No. Same again, kings in the big blind? Kings in the big blind? I've seen this episode before. I hope it doesn't have the same outcome. It's already started. More interestingly, imagine they jam now. Get your squeeze on. If they jam, oh my goodness, they flat. We're off to the, we're off to a flop. 10-8-9, 10-8-9, dude. Is this the worst flop of all time or what? Does cover me for the bounty, so it's gonna peel some, I guess like ace queens. Sevens, maybe like ace 10 suited even, ace jack. So what's the play now? Now we lose the sevens and the sixes as well. Check fold, check call. Kings! Ace queen oh we beat. Scary. Deep into the time back, big decision. Call mate, 10 seven, it's not good. Pocket jacks for the win. Top grind out in fourth, we are three handed. That ladders us up to 2100, but this is the big ladder. That's obviously a sick pot for us, right? That's the big ladder coming up now. Sorry, it's $2,300 and someone is very short. We would raise call it $765 bounty. We'll, uh, we'll GG to top grind. Free card. <gasps> I've made a flush. They've got pot size bet left. $3,000 right now if we knock them out. $3,000 US dollars right now if we knock this player out. Pay jump in the bounty. They block. I'm all in. Pay me. Call me. $2,300 ladder, $765 bounty. $3,000. Oh, but they fold. It's going to be carnage when they go all in, isn't it? Carnage when they go all in. And I guess I raised seven deuce. But I mean, again, I'm never getting away with it. He's not stupid. He knows that this is here. He does have to fold, though. I've got a seven. Hold. $3,000. No. Is that so sick? Yeah, I am crying. You're right. I am. Is that so sick? Man, what's the play? Jam? But wait, don't I miss out on the pay jump? No, they've got more chips, right? But wait, they can fold and take the, the ladder. So what I call and stack off on any board. But then if they jam, I can't call because they could take the ladder. This is so f***. Do you know what I'm saying, folks? I would fold this hand if high dagger shoves now. Jack 10 versus deuces. <gasps> oh! Is it the cleanest deuce you've ever seen on the turn in your entire life or what? I apologize for the noises that have been ejected from my body. Oh, oh, oh! <clears throat> but that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. We win $725 for the bounty. We ladder to four and a half thousand dollars. And we will bat that out heads up. We've got 2k here. 1,908 in bounties. So we're guaranteed six and a half thousand. We're playing for, I think it's like $3,000 heads up. Does that seem right to anybody? We're off to a flop. That was a nice deuce. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a nice deuce. I have in the meantime been eliminated from the hot 33, if anybody cares, which we can comfortably assume we'd rather be watching this. And we will be an ace high checker. Are we getting milked by ace queen? What do you reckon? Do you think they just value it? Ace queen is king. Do you think this is just like pure value? Or what? How do they bluff here if they don't see bet like king three? What other hands do I have? I bet a jack, I bet a six, I probably bet a five on the turn sometimes. 
I don't have many better hands. Ace, Queen, I'm all in pre. I do think they bluff sometimes. And their value is going to come from even some like pocket eight still. And then like Ace, King, Ace, Queen, I think are good value bets. But there'll be some bluffing. I really didn't know what to do pre-flop with the deuces, because if I shove and Heidegger calls, this guy can fold and take the ladder if I bust, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's a disaster. Disaster. I gotta turn the heat on, I'm shivering over here. Customer, thank you for the 42 months, mate. Welcome back, I hope you find a win here. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Would be nice. Definitely a bit sad here on the turn with this hand. All right, 5-4, very clean. 5-3, very clean. 9-5 might be a bit sad but sticking around. And I will reluctantly fall to a triple. Uh, MCS Games says, are you getting a better camera for streaming? No, I've streamed with this camera for seven years. So I just, I couldn't give a fuck really. Looks right, doesn't it? Can you see me? That's all I care about. Can you see me? Sure. Doesn't need to be super high def. Hasn't slowed me down yet. We basically want to flip, but we just waited till there's a jack and a 10 to put the rest in, you know? We just went around the houses a little. I don't think we're just playing, like, I don't think we're at a stack depth where they play that many jams. So we'll call a four bet. King Jack, no diamond, maybe we do fold. Sure. Where is that from? Where on earth are you from? I think I'm just going to call too. No, come on. I hate the chat behind. Oh, they had a 10 too. 10 and a 6. What's that all about? What is that all about? The lasagna is fine, folks. The lasagna is on a timer. It's a 50 minute lasagna. It's done in five minutes. I have a heart. I will call the big bet. Yes, I will. I'm going to three bet call sixes. He's going to jam ace four suited and I'm going to win the entire tournament. Well, that hasn't happened. Retiring on the turn. And obviously if there's a three bet, there'll be another bet. One minute 45 on my lasagna. Do you think this guy will wait for me? Two pots? Greedy. Greedy. Probably a mix raise call. Lasagna's ready and I've got the nuts. I'd like to invest more chips, if I may. I've got a lasagna to attend to, so please make your decision quickly. I'm all in. Oh, straight versus straight. What a cooler. A banana peel indeed. We have a uh, read coming in on Heidegger. Martin Heidegger's radical break with traditional philosophical assumptions and language in the novel themes and problems treated in his work reinvigorated phenomen phen phenomenology? and existentialism and contributed to new movements such as philosophical hermeneutics and postmodernism. Complex fella. Hi, Dagger. Very tough to work out and uh, obviously reflected by the fact that, you know, a gentleman of a philosophical nature. Very complex individual. Sometimes he's bluffing, sometimes he's not, sometimes he's got a straight, sometimes I've got one too. I can smell that lasagna, I'm gonna need to go get it. But I'll be seeing if I make a flush first. Won't I? Do you? Don't I? A flush. It's gone runner runner. One second. There's a lot of overbet, man. So when he takes these sizings, I think he's mostly just forced into like thinner valley bets. May not be true. Obviously, we're gonna jam. I'm gonna shove and then stop this lasagna from burning. So good luck. Unfortunately, he appears to have folded. I would have loved to come back and it just said winner on the screen, but it doesn't. We're gonna raise if he three bets, we four bet all in with the ace queen heads up for 30 blinds for the win. Get ready, folks. 
It's all on the line. A flip for the trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. First place and the bounties. GG indeed. What a tournament to win on a Friday night right here on PokerStars. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you're subscribed. I know you're going to leave quickly if we look, because we, we just won, I know. You guys don't wait around, but I'm, I'm posting up another, another epic dub, if you will, as they say. Woo, feels good. $6,165 in bounties, plus $4,545. $10,710 for first place in the 770. It's a really beautiful thing.